Okay, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to play some more $5 Zoom on PokerStars. Uh, we started off this challenge and uh, I think we started, well, there's the graph in front of you there. We went up a little bit, plus two buy-ins and then we just fell off a cliff, which is not unusual for me recently. Um, but we played uh, i haven't been in i haven't really had too much chance to play over the last few days played a little bit here and there but uh we went down to about minus nine buying terrible and now we've come back a little bit and you can see the figures there but kind of you know just under negative four buy-in so We've been playing already. Uh, I'm just going to move this chart out of the way. We've been playing already this morning. It's morning where I am now. And uh, we've got two tables going. So it's been quite a good session. So we are. We've been playing about an hour or so. So I thought I would start recording because. Um, well, it's the first opportunity I've had to start recording. There is a little bit of background noise. I've tried to set my microphone so that you don't hear that, but my girlfriend is here. She's always, well, not always here. She does go out to work. But, um, well, she's doing stuff, so she'll be banging and crashing a little bit, I think. I've, it's difficult for me to find sort of time where uh, I'm completely noise free. We've got the overpair jacks here. We didn't re re raise free pre flop. We probably should have done. The ace has come, so I'm, I'm not really going to. Well, we've got a 67 V pip. Yeah, it's only played three hands, so I'm getting out of the way with the jacks. Probably didn't play that hand too well. But, Jack Jack. Need to be careful with that because. Um, my jack jack chart i need to have a look at my study a little bit more how i play jack jack because um it was a proper profitable hand for me at some point and then it stopped being so um and that's maybe one of the reasons maybe i should be i re-raise uh, i don't re-raise jack jack all the time it really, uh, you know, mix it up a little bit. But, you know, often you're re-raising into trouble, I think. Especially on Zoom. So that's probably why it's not so profitable as I want it to be. But we'll, we'll try and play for about an hour here. And, um... And you know, trying to get some build onto those stacks what we've got. I mean, very often you, you'll see that I'm starting a session on it, you know, starting from 100 big blinds and trying to go up there. So, sometimes, you know, I'll try to cut in a little bit into the middle of the session and then, so you get that uh, experience too of me losing all my chips. Well, that's pretty much most of the experience anyway is how to lose up poker. I'm going to change the channel name. Loser. How to lose up poker. <laughs> uh, but uh, I haven't really, really been playing much recently, but I think yeah, I could be doing better or should be doing better. So it's a great suggestion by you and just to cut down the number of tables I'm playing. So I was just going to play one sometimes i have been playing one zoom table but i think for the purpose of the video i think two is just a little bit better and a bit more going on so i think 
you know, one table might be a bit slow. I mean, you watch a video where you're kind of folding 80% of the time or whatever. Uh, I'm going to call with the, the nines here. We flop the set. So, a bit of half pot into that. Hopefully, we were up against Ace King, who's going to continue. He re raised, so we should have kings in his raise. Let's hope it's not King King, so he has continued. So, I'm assuming uh, there is. Let's hope it's an Ace Ace or an Ace King. Um. I'll fold the fives on the left. I'm going to re-raise this up a little bit to fifteen with the nines. I mean, it's really gonna with his stack size there. It's really gonna pull him all in, really. He's got a pot size bit left. So we lose to King King now. Well, let's hope it's not King King. Well, I'm going to hope he's got the plus. I'm going to put it all in. No, we might. I'm going to go half. Give me something to think about. I think he might fold to an all in. If he's got ace king, but he's going to call it. Okay, let's have a look what that was. Uh, Jack Jack. Under mind buckles. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. I don't know. I mean, I would have folded Jack Jack. Maybe I'm wrong. But I will take it. We got top pair here. Um, I'm gonna put a half pot just in case we've got a jack jack there. We'll have a look at the chart at the end. I'm not going to go backwards and forward, but you know, we've a good session this morning, obviously, and uh, we keep building on that. But you know, we're still behind. Oh, wow, we flopped another set. Miracle session. I'm just going to check. Okay, we're going to go. Well, I don't think we're going to get anything from this. We're probably going to fold now. I mean, we have to protect the set a little bit. Three, four, five. Six, I mean, five, seven's got there, hasn't it? So, no value to be had there. Yeah, thank you to Ian, my coach, for uh, suggesting I reduce the tables. Uh, I think it certainly has improved my game. I think you could also detect that I wasn't really that motivated by, you know, particularly over the last month or so, I just sort of, you know, I just haven't been getting the results. I, want. I haven't been playing as well as I wanted to. 
for various reasons and yeah, it takes you out it takes it out of you at the end of the day i mean uh we've caught one here with the king jack it's a bit of a nap call but Okay. Um, yeah, you know, when you have a run of no good, um, it just, it, you know, was sapping my motivation a bit. I think also in the tournaments, I haven't really played tournaments for a week or two. I might play some tonight because there's some nice guarantees out there. And, and GG and on PokerStars, I think. So I, I haven't looked too closely at it, but I think there's some one dollar tournaments there for about ten thousand dollar guarantees, some three dollar tournaments for you know similar or bigger, and then you know one or two ten dollar tournaments. There's just there's a micro festival or something kind at the moment, and I, I think I must have played about two of the tournaments so far, and I've usually would have played a lot more, but I think one I've been a bit busy, a bit too busy to play, which is fine. That happens, and and secondly, I just I haven't done as well as I would have liked to have done recently in tournaments. You know, I just sort of seem to have been kind of sitting there and either going out just before the you know just before getting the money or just making the money and scraping through and. You know, losing big hands and, and, you know, just, just not really. Yeah, I think, I think that one of the last sessions I had, I, I had about six or seven tournaments. Well, I was playing about six or seven tournaments, or I played about six or seven tournaments. Uh, I got in the money in one of them, you know, I, I was like, plus two dollars or something so yeah you know they're all little piddly tournaments you know and so i ended up like kind of you know minus fifteen dollars or something but it's like six hours yeah and get that playing cash you know but you know sometimes i think gosh i could have won twenty thousand dollars there and i got one <laughs> Minus fifteen dollars, but I, I think it was just a process. Every time I seem to, you know, have a D. I, 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 sometimes in tournaments, it just seems to me I, I have a, a period of just being card dead, just having, you know, nothing to play. That's kind of meaty. And not hitting, it, not hitting any flops, and you know when I get it in good, I end up bad, you know. And I just, you just think, ah, oh, click this, click, click. Oh, well done, good. Oh yeah, your shitty seven four off got there. You know what I mean? And. Uh, you just lose the, I just lose to will with tournaments sometimes I just lose the will to live so, okay well done donkey you know clap 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 <laughs> we've all been there haven't we but you know I, I, yeah, I, I, I do need to to study and work and there's a lot of study to do but Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, I've made plenty of final tables in my time, and uh, I've, I've won tournaments, you know. But, you know, I've not won the Sunday Million yet, and that's disappointing. I have to say, <laughs> I'm not a millionaire yet. Why not? 
I'm going to write into Pokestars to complain. Dear Pokestars, <laughs> I'm not rich yet. Please explain. <laughs> well, <laughs> it could be because you're shy. <laughs> No, oh, sorry, sorry for swearing there, but um, you know what I mean. I don't know whether I'm going to be suffering curse of the video here. What have we got here? Uh, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to re raise this. We've got nothing, but we've got, you know, drawy outs. Should have probably put a bigger bit in there. Right, it was enough. Um, you know, I had this period where I was sort of in this game, just yeah, win stat, win stat. I mean, I had a, it was crazy. I had about three ace aces on the trot, and then with all of them, someone to my left kind of went all in. I thought, well, okay, well. What shall I do? Fold. <laughs> and and I, I think I was up against King King twice and I got through. And um, and the next time I was just up against nothing, you know. On a Yahoo. Yahoo. <laughs> I don't know, he had 8 2 off or something. And just shoved on me. Okay, we got the trips here. I put pots in now, so. Hopefully he's not got twos or sevens. It's going to be the way, isn't it? We'll call it down. Queen nine, I mean. Work that one out. Um, there you go, queen nine, seven, eight, nine. Mine boggles. The mind I had him marked down as an orange as a overly aggressive you know but, uh, anyway. We'll take it. This can call with the jacks. Cool with the Ace King. Um, I mean, obviously, we could be beat with a Jack, so I'm just going to put a fold the Ace King. Jacks is not the strongest, especially against early opener. Which I need to move. That's why I, I, I couldn't see. I don't know why he's uh figures uh I don't know why that's like that for some reason. I didn't notice that. But I don't really use Well that just shows you how, how I don't really look too much at the um um the HUD stats. Because it's been like that all morning. I haven't, I haven't moved it. <laughs> so I couldn't see it, and uh, I didn't know where it was or whether it was there. But I, I'm just thinking now, where, where is it? it? Needs to be on the video. And uh, yeah, perhaps I should be looking at these stats a bit more. But there you go. That should be a bit better. So half the time I've been playing with kind of half the HUD stats. But it's only VPIP I've got there. Usually I've only, and sometimes I put a couple of other stats. Usually I have VPIP, big blinds 100 and 3 bet and that's it. Mm. Gonna re-raise with the ace 10 on the left. 
A check with the King Ten. We'll get out of the way. We get the ace here. I'm going to go half pot. I mean, not the strongest ace. Looks good enough. I'm hoping my audio works for this video. I just made some slight adjustment just to try and cut out some of the background noise. I mean, sometimes even though you make a small adjustment, it's a little bit of an over adjustment. I don't know, it just seems to be so sensitive to changing anything. And, uh, I caught one with the ice queen. You get an eyebrow. Hmm. Well, the eight should come in. No, that doesn't help us when it's folded. Because I'm stupid. Um. Yeah, I find sometimes with my microphone, if I move it a couple of inches away from me, um, you know, people can't hear me, and if I move it a little bit more closer to me, it's like super loud. Um, I don't know, it, I, I've got a really sort of professional type of mic, okay, but I just think you need to be a professional to know how to use it. <laughs> it's like, you know, uh, it's not easy for me, anyway, to get the sound right. Well, let's hope this one sounds okay. Okay, going half with the aces. Obviously, we've got the kind of straightish on the ball. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh, look, another Poker Stars trick. Let's put something that connects a little bit with the board there. Um, I think we're okay, apart from losing to set of sixes, sets of nines, sets of five, sets of three, and a straight. We're okay. We've got ace -8s. It beats everything. You know, the curse of Ace Ace. The curse of a Poker Stars Ace Ace. The curse of a Poker The curse. I'm, I'm, in, I'm only joking here. Please, Poker Stars, don't sue me. You know, I'm sure you've had your random number generators verified by God. And God said it's okay. Whatever. Um, so I'm not complaining, but, you know, I'll just. No, I just think, I think sometimes I get king king. Please don't drop an ace on the flop. Bing, ace. You know. And sometimes you get, you know, your multi way with king king. Four players, including myself. Ace on the flop. And the other three players, I've got a raggy ace. You know, ace three, ace two, ace six. And you're sat there with King King. You're sat there with Poo Poo. <laughs> oh, great. Another second best hand in poker destroyed. Okay, so that's that's the curse of King King. The curse of Ace Ace is like, you know, flop straights and flops, flop flushes. That's it, isn't it? You know, but yeah, I've got ace ace, and you get two, three, four, uh, two, three, four, no, not two, three, four, that's a six, seven, eight on the board, and and uh, the turns are a nine, you know. Great, wonderful. Why didn't I think of that, you know? So that's the curse of ace ace. Um, you know, I could carry on. I sound like I'm being negative, but. 
that is my experience. Well, we'll call this all in from the ace now. Go on, get a nine. Go on, nine, 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 nine. Oh my god, it's a miracle. <laughs> it's a miracle. <laughs> What's going on? I don't know what's happening. I'm ruined. <laughs> this is not supposed to be. This is not usual. Please. Let me lose something. Make it normal. <laughs> ah. Well, today I'm just been sorting out my Christmas a little bit. Um one of my sons is coming over for Christmas with his uh, girlfriend I think his girlfriend is uh, Vietnamese and I don't know whether he's going to go to Vietnam as well I, I wouldn't mind going to Vietnam I've been a few times, great place so and uh, my girlfriend's going to try to book some time off work she said she wants to come out Christmas dinner which she always wants and whenever there's food she wants to come out and fill her face and uh she wants to wear one of those Santa hats so I'm quite looking forward to it actually what kind of uh, family Christmas by the beach sort of thing I know it's what, what we are, we're in June now, but just planning ahead. Flights are freaking expensive, you know. Um, the original plan was I was going to go, I want to go to Egypt. I'm, I'm interested in like the, the pyramids and things like that. I mean, I'd really like to go to Machu Picchu in Peru and all this sort of stuff. Because, you know, I think staying in during covid and yeah you know, i said to myself i'm just gonna get out a bit more and that's partly why, probably why i don't play so much poker i don't want to spend all my time sitting on the computer now like a um especially since covid i do try to get out a little bit more though the last week or so i, I haven't done that so much We'll call with the nines, it's, oh, there we go, there we go, I'm going to put a pot in there, okay, um, I mean, this is unusual, that we're kind of, what, three and a half, three and a half buy-ins, I don't know, who said I can't play Zoom? I can play it with my eyes closed. What are you talking about? Um, anyway. Um, I bet you probably play better with my eyes closed than my eyes open half the time because maybe the random clicking from my fingers is probably beats the non-random clicking. Yeah. Anyway. Got a top pair here. Um, we can put pot in. Just let them know that we're we mean business. That's my theory, anyway. Um, what was I saying? I can't remember what I was saying now. So yeah, the the the, the idea was original idea, real original idea. I wanted to go to Egypt gonna go with my youngest son um I tried to persuade one of my other sons to come and um but you know we looked at the flights and it's just so expensive at the moment I, you know by the time I, we didn't I didn't even go as far as looking at accommodation and price to go to see the pyramids I just knew it was going to be really expensive but King King Look at that flop, 10 jack, so straight on the flop, I'm just going to check. 
Okay, so we're in good shape, better shape now. Um, we could be up against trips, obviously. We can, I don't think we're up against Jack, Jack or 1010. Um, you know, bed up here. So, yeah, Egypt. I just. I don't know, the flights just seem a lot to me. And. Like to, and my youngest son wants to come to Thailand where I live, so. Yeah, you know, I thought, okay, well, maybe do Egypt another time, so. Uh, he was going to come in a couple of months' time, but that's a bit tricky because I've got sort of friends coming over at the beginning of the month my girlfriend friend probably can't really get time off work so quickly and um i said to him not you know just wait a couple of months maybe if you can and she'll be able to book some time off christmas and uh i can probably have more time off then and and there's, and there's more going on here, I think, Christmas time. I think in Thailand it's raised rainy season in August. So, you know, you spend a lot of money, come all the way here. Britain came last year and it was rain, rainy season and it was kind of okay. You still got sunburn, actually. You know. Um, but, you know, it's just, just some nice things going on at Christmas. They've got, you know, some fireworks, Christmas New Year, you know, those sorts of things. Christmas buffets and concerts and all that sort of stuff so okay so I'm gonna put a pot size bet here with the, the jacks or near and pots I mean obviously no more to say about that now is there Well, going up towards nearly, nearly 400 blinds there. So, I'll we'll have a look at the chart in a bit. So, yeah, I'm quite looking forward to uh, Christmas this year. I mean, I'm not really a Christmas person, to tell you the truth. I'm, you know, I'm not. I'm Mr. Humbug, you know? Uh, humbug. Yeah, I used to kind of like it when I was younger, go to the pub with my mates and get slaughtered, try and get a Christmas kiss, you know, that kind of thing. Remember those days. Um, oh, uh, folded. Um... Yeah, I had some good times then when I was younger. Probably a lot of us did, but Christmas discos, New Year's discos. Yeah. And, um. Yeah, but I kind of. A long, long time ago, I just sort of. But, you know, I just realised I wasn't really a Christmas person, you know. Um, don't mind a Christmas dinner sometime, but... Wow, we've got a set here. I'm going to put a small bet in. Just see if anything will continue or re-raise. No. I don't know what's going on. I can't cope with this, all this winning. Oh, the age jack. Um, I mean, I don't drink. I don't, I don't, I don't mind going out and not drinking. I mean, it's not, that's not an issue. If I'm in a bar and everyone's drunk and everyone's having a good time, it really doesn't bother me. I'm in kind of, I'm kind of okay drinking my Coca Cola or the water. I don't sit there thinking, oh, I need a drink. Um, uh, it's not, it's not a thing. Um, I 
Yeah, I suppose it's good to catch up with friends and things like that, isn't it? That kind of stuff. But, you know, I think it's going to be nice now with my... I'm really sort of... I'm quite excited about my son coming and his girlfriend coming and my girlfriend getting some time off work and, you know, maybe we'll link up with a few people and uh, it's June, but, you know, so... I'll be looking forward to that. It'll be like a kind of... Uh, yeah, be kind of quite exciting. I mean, I'm a bit of a foodie, I think. I mean, I kind of got to be careful because you know, overeat or you know, eat the wrong things as a no. I can't eat lactose, I can't eat too much because I just can't digest it very well. But I do do like my food, you know. I like cooking and uh, I like going out for nice food. And some where I live, there's some just, just some good restaurants, you know. And, and the prices are good. I think probably, I don't know, maybe you have to book some places over the Christmas period. No, no, not all the time. I don't think there's enough to go around, but uh, some great... I, I sent my son uh, some links to some restaurants we might go to. I went to one or two last time he was here. Quite a few nice ones. And then, um, but one or two... Uh, one, one I've discovered that since... You know, after he left, I took, my, I took my girlfriend there. That's a very nice restaurant. It's, it's like on the beach, overlooking the beach. Fantastic view. I think it's a French chef, you know. But they got all sorts of food there. Thai food, pizzas, really good soups. You know, I think it's really good. You know, really good. And... Not that expensive either. So, we'll sort of be going down. I mean, that's going to be a thing. It's going to be a week of just going to nice restaurants, I think. You know, at least every day or every two days or something. We can squeeze it in, you know? A small bit here with the Ace King, try and take it down. We do that. We got top pair on the right. What's the call? Could we raise? I'm going to put a pot in now. Just over a pot. The ace comes. Of course it does. Oh well, King Seven's no good though, is it? Um, I'll fold the ace ten. Making some tight folds here, but. Can't complain, we're nearly 400 on the left, 315 on the right. We'll have a look at the chart after the session. We've been recording this now for about 40 minutes. Um, I haven't really been talking about the poker, I've just been talking about Christmas. 
maybe let you let me know in the comments what you like to do for Christmas or you know like I say I'm not really usually bothered about it you know at all um, I mean it's been Christmases where well, I've just spent on my own and I haven't really you know I haven't really cried about it I've, I've been busy you know I kind of I kind of um, I haven't been bothered you know but I've just I haven't sometimes I haven't even I think in Thailand it's not really a big thing. That's the thing that kind of I suppose helps. Uh, in England, by the time I left there, it wasn't really a big thing for me anyway. But in Thailand, it's not really a big thing. I mean, yes, you do get Christmas trees in the shopping malls, and you get, you know, the girls wear the Santa hats in the bars, that sort of thing, and they try to make the most of it. But it's you know, it's not the big commercial th thing that it is now in, in, in the UK, for example, you know. And I suppose, you know, I'm, I can't, don't know any specific ones. I mean, I've been here many years, but it's been one or two years where I've probably, you know, more or less, oh, was that Christmas Day yesterday? You know, I kind of... It made no difference to me whatsoever because I've just been, you know, busy doing my things. I don't drink. Uh, it wouldn't have really appealed for me to, to go out on Christmas Eve or anything like that. And, uh, you know, that, 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 that's it, you know. But this year, yeah, I feel good about it. What should we got to fold the queens here? I can't really know. We're done. Check with the sixes. We continue to a bet. third in there. Four, five, eight, five, eight gets that, does it? And how lucky was that? Get the river. I mean, this is the best zoom session I've had in a long time, you know, a bit of luck here. The dreaded top pair with the queen, ace queen, isn't it? It's like, you know, eight, nine, ten jats has got there. I'm gonna go up to try and take it down. That doesn't work. stuck now with having to call it aren't we oh look at that man pathetic just say, saying how lucky we've been look at that I mean fair play to him nine eight nine ten
I just said, you know, it's a dreaded, you know, the dreaded ace queen top pair with uh, sticky flop, you know. It wasn't going away to any aggression. A bit loose. Well, he had the outs, and obviously it paid off for him in the end. I'm going to free bet with the queens here. All my stats are going to disappear now. I'm going to free bet with the king queen. That up there. Oh, we're gonna fold the king queen here. What's going on? Queens versus ace king. Good to get out of the way there. Yeah, I might play some tournaments tonight. Do I haven't done a tournament? I, I did say I was, I'm only going to do uh, cash game videos, but you know, if, I, if who knows? If I just sort of put twenty dollars into the tournaments tonight, maybe I might do just a one-off Saturday tournament videos. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Okay, we've got trips here. I'm gonna check raise. Got a raise with the ace queen. That's a tricky one here with the uh, the ace. We need we need a dot. We need a club. Oh, man, yeah. I'm just gonna check. Come on, club. Wonderful. Wonderful. Wow. Let's hope that was the king. Uh, ace four. I mean, there you go. Mind boggles. <laughs> oh, the mind boggles. Really does. Ace four, diamonds four. Yeah. I see it. Not. I, I'm not complaining. Keep it coming. You see what I mean? I mean, I, I think this, I don't know. I don't know whether. Perhaps I'm, I, I don't know what I'm doing. Perhaps because maybe there was a call there. I don't know. 
Please tell me. <laughs> That's the thing here, I think I get lost with sometimes. People say, oh, you should fold that, you know. But then you, you see the crap that people call with. You know. Okay, so four and a half here. But so hopefully we can keep building. Well, I'm not particularly playing great. I'm just sort of playing ABC-ish, I think. Look at love. Is that ABC? Or Spando Ballet. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, we've got a straight. Let's bed up. Oh, please bet. Please bet. My hair is bed up. Oh, wonderful. What did you have? Ace two. Let's have a look. Ace Queen. Let's call with the Ace Queen here. Should have re-raised, but sometimes I like to mix it up a bit. Be a bit fancy. Tight, tight, tight. Knit, knit, knit. Might have the best hand here with the king. No, we don't. Oh. Flat the eight seven, have a little bit of fun. Got a folding now.
Okay, I think I'll pause it there. We've been playing for about an hour. Just under an hour. That's... Um, I have some other things to do now, so... Sorry about that. Let's have a look at the chart. Let's just oops, sit out here. Uh, we'll sit out here. Okay, so... We're finished. Let's get the chart up. Oops! Oh, that's my WhatsApp. What's the next icon? Okay, no, you don't want that. Okay, so, um, I'll be just refresh. Okay, so, um, this is, we're now just down to minus three buy in, so we've come all the way back from, you know, minus nine buy in, so you can see the line there. I mean, let's have a look at today. Let's just change this date range to today. Uh, I don't know. If, there you go. So, you know, pl let's say plus. What well, is plus twenty three? So, um, so plus uh, plus nearly five buy ins. So I'll put that on the uh, the thumbnail, and hopefully millions of people will watch that, and it will make me. A YouTube millionaire um, but it will most likely only be Ian <laughs> not that I'm complaining I enjoy Ian watching my videos and uh, giving me some feedback but I think he's the only one that watches them <laughs> so um, enjoy Ian no um so I'm, I'm, I'm actually quite pleased with that because um, I haven't really played poker much this week at all. And maybe that's not such a bad thing. Sometimes a break uh, is a good thing. You kind of get out of... Um, you break patterns, you know, you, you know, I think, a little bit. Or maybe I, I did there. I think Ian's suggestion that I'll play fewer tables really paid off. And I feel a little bit more relaxed about it. Uh, you know, and I feel... You know, um, I think this is having a positive impact, as you can see. And there's, you know, um, what we played eight or nine hundred. I think that's. I haven't played nearly a thousand hands in pretty much one go in a while. You know, so um, there you go. That's the result of having a bit of a break, um, changing things a little bit. Um, we seem, uh, you know, was 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 still kind of behind in this challenge but we're back in business sort of thing when we, you know we were kind of going down to the abyss like minus nine buy-ins and it's just like oh, you know, what's what's going on here you know i'm just i just don't know and now no turned it around plus five buy-ins in one day a uh, couple of hours plus uh, $25 happy days okay thank you for watching and uh, I hope to see you again soon have a good day